Lux Research forecasts that spending on the development of clean technology by corporations and government is expected to rise by 10%, and venture capital is on track to double. China attracted 220 million U.S. dollars in clean tech venture capital last year. This week, Li Zhongmiao talks to Bruce Schlein, vice president in charge of environmental affairs for Citigroup, about growing potential in the country. China surpassed Europe to be the、um, most. Popular venue for new environmental companies. What kind of companies are those venture capitalists looking at? Well, the growth,、uh, I think, as you know, in, in clean tech and alternative energy is being driven quite a bit by、uh, the likes of Kyoto and and、um, and the European Union's、uh, ETS, the, the Emissions Trading Scheme, and、uh, so you see quite a bit of growth in in renewables, in solar, in wind. Uh, and in companies that are also developing、uh, CDM projects, the Clean Development Mechanism projects,、mm -hmm. and、uh, and so given the the strong manufacturing base here in China, I think it's it's an obvious uh, uh, place also for this sort of activity. So how do investors balance their investment? So for example, we know that. Clean technology involves the different sectors. For example, like solar, you've mentioned hydro and、uh, clean coal technology. I think it, it probably varies from market to market, and and depends on the sorts of、um, the physical characteristics of certain geographies. What sorts of,、uh, you know, whether they're more、uh, suitable for wind or solar,、mm -hmm. and、uh, and certainly on the clean coal, I think that's probably driven quite significantly by regulations that are that are unfolding around the the control of carbon emissions. Right here in China, what, which sector do you see has the most potential to grow? I think given the the si the, the the scale and size of coal power generation in China, I, I think、um, I think clean coal is probably a, a, an area of, of Potential growth,、mm -hmm. and certainly all the renewables that are that are servicing other markets outside of China and also in China are, are quite significant to the solar and the wind. So tell us a little bit on this、uh, Chinese manufacturing side, because we know actually lots of、uh, Chinese small and medium-sized enterprises are actually doing this clean tech technology part. In overseas countries like. Giant firms, for example, like Intel, GE, and Google, have their own、uh, special arm in this clean technology part. And seems to be、uh, lots of uh, uh, foreign investors are quite interested in investing in big companies instead of smaller ones.、Yeah. So,、uh, can you just make a comparison, be、sure. you know, between these two?、And、the small and medium-sized enterprises are often a bit able to, to to respond a bit more quickly, a bit more nimbly. To、um, to demands or changes in the marketplace,、uh, I think they're challenged in the sense that they don't have the name recognition or perhaps the size or and the the resources of a large company behind them, and so that's part of the reason that we're supporting the new ventures initiative because it it looks to try to identify those companies that are emerging and rising up, and that could benefit from the expertise of. Of the resources that New Ventures brings to bear, the universities. So, how do they compete against those big firms? In some senses, they're not really competing because they're targeting different different、um, sec sections of the market,、mm -hmm. and、uh, and in many ways, they're probably、um, working hand in hand with some of these larger companies as suppliers, or、um, or perhaps.、Um, You know, it may be joint ventures where there may be a, an emerging technology that a small, medium-sized enterprise is developing that could then be brought to a larger company. What measures do you think these、uh, small and medium-sized enterprises can have to further expand their financing channels? Certainly, a solid,、um, you know, a solid business plan and, and articulating that and communicating it. And、um, uh, again, part of the idea behind New Ventures is to provide them with that platform and an opportunity to connect them with, with,、uh, with venture capital outfits that are looking for those sorts of opportunities.、Mm -hmm. And then、um, the familiarity with,、uh, with the emerging laws, environmental laws,、um, both here in China and overseas, to understand how they can. Apply those technologies given you know the emerging regulations,、mm -hmm. uh, and then just the you know the the capacity of their of their teams and their employees. Is the situation here a little bit different from other overseas markets? Because we know that in China the energy is monopolized by the government,、mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so probably their operations are somewhat restricted. I think that's true. Although I, I mean, in the case of the the U.S., our 
our utilities are quite quite regulated. Um, state by state, we have these public utility commissions that um, that regulate our utilities quite carefully, and so. Uh, I think there's some some interesting parallels and, mm -hmm. and interesting um, opportunities to look at those governmental structures both in the U.S. and here and in other countries mm -hmm. in terms of how they can incentivize the growth of clean technology and alternative energy and mm -hmm. help help this transition from from um, sources of energy that might not be as clean.